but I yeah. think we're gonna get shuttled. Okay, but they have the shuttles running. Hopefully. <laughs> morning, y'all. It is 6.30 in the morning. We are on our way up to Flagstaff to set up for Flag Sky Race. I completely passed out last night right after group run. I was gonna do a bunch more work and I literally fell asleep. I woke up in a panic at 5.15 and was like, where am I? So uh, I feel a little bit refreshed because I actually got about seven hours of sleep, which is really great. So still about a two hour drive from Arizona Snowball right now. We're just gassing up here in the desert. We've got uh, Raul, he's driving our our F-350, and then I am in our big box truck! I don't know why I have a flashlight, but uh, yeah, it's a beautiful morning here in the desert, a little cool, and it's gonna be nice and uh, amazing up, up in the pines, so yeah, today's video, the next few days are all gonna be in Flagstaff surrounding the Flag Sky Race. Try and keep it entertaining as possible, um, but it's gonna be a lot of a lot of work, as always, putting on these races. Um, really excited to host the the finale again for the U.S. Skyrunner Series. A lot of amazing athletes. Uh, maybe I can get get some uh, interactions with some of, of the guys that are going to be running on on these vlogs. And uh, stay tuned for more of that. Try and mix it up a little bit. Ready to do this? Ready? Are they gonna let you guys drive up there? I don't think so. I think they're gonna shuttle this up. Because they've got like big equipment and things like that. They're gonna let the box truck up, but I yeah. think we're gonna get shuttled. Okay, but they have the shuttles running. Hopefully. Okay. We've officially arrived, all in one piece. We're gonna get to uh, get to the setup now. All right, guys, we are just laying out the site plan here. We've got our map. Um, they're running the the lifts already this morning, and uh, we're gonna get all set up here. How freaking stoked are you? I'm so stoked. I love this race, dude. While the team finishes setting up everything here, uh, I'm gonna head out and mark approximately a 13 mile section of the race course. So I'm starting up here at Snowball. I'm gonna work reverse and uh, have gravity on my side. So I'll be going downhill. Um, it should make it a lot nicer. I've got um, my big backpack here all loaded up. I've got some of our new reusable course markers on clothespins right there. And then I've got our uh, pin flags. So I'm gonna load up now and get this day started. Little snack break here. I'm three miles in, two and a half hours. Super nice day out. The marking's going really well. I've got a tastefully nude Goo, in honor of that guy that finished that marathon with his junk flopping around, we're doing the tastefully nude. And then we've got the spring recovery. This is the McRecovery, sorry, did I say that? I don't know, but it's signed by Sally McRae, how cool! 150 calories, I'll tell you what this thing's rocking. So this is, uh, it's got rice, banana, 
pea protein, cherries, coconut oil, almonds, walnuts, cassava, maple syrup, dried cherries, lemon juice, cocoa, and sea salt. Pretty cool, very different. Six grams of protein. It says consume after you run, but whatever, I just wanna eat it. All right, four miles in, out of the Aspens for the moment, and just in all these sweet pine trees. Check out this old, old car over there. Just flipped over and abandoned. Oh man, I'm going so slow today. Oh God, it's uh, six miles and four hours so far. I did take a little break back there to, to check my emails and stuff, but uh, this junction right here is actually uh, quite important. We've had people miss this before and end up on the road and kind of a disaster. So I'm gonna mark it as well as I can. And uh, God, I still probably have like seven miles to go. I hopefully it doesn't take another freaking four hours from here. This is getting ridiculous. Now I've been at it for five and a half hours, almost nine miles in. This is the Fort Valley aid station in the middle of the forest. There's a road here. Uh, that's about it. Just, uh, just working away. That is where the runners will go. That's where I came from today. And this is where they will come from in the direction that I am now heading. I'm almost out of these pin flags. Just got a couple left. There's this super important turn up here, just ahead that people always miss. And then I've got all these uh, this clothespin markers so we can reuse them now, which is pretty awesome. And uh, it's basically all I got right now, guys. Check in, seven hours and 40 minutes in, 13.1 miles. Pretty slow pace. Anyways, I'm at the, the junction here with the Weatherford Trail and the Kachina Peaks Wilderness. Obviously our race doesn't go in wilderness. It, it cuts down just right near the boundary. So I'm just making sure that's really well marked so people don't go into the wilderness. And uh, I've got two mile downhill run into the place I'm being picked up since I went point to point today. And the sun is basically set already. It's freaking amazing out. I'm at like 9,000 feet and uh, it's not even that cold. It's gonna be freaking beautiful this weekend. That's the update. Uh, check back in later after I'm off the trail. Freaking love this job. It's amazing. How are you guys doing? Good. Thanks for picking so, me up. Yeah, where are we putting this stuff? Over here. Down the driveway a little? Yeah. Just wrapped up the run here, 15 miles. We just set up this uh, aid station at Schultz and uh, getting out of here now.